Good morning, everyone. Uh, the first reading from today's uh, mass readings is from St. Paul's letter, the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 2. I just want to quote to you one of the lines. He says, We thank God that as soon as you heard the message of God, you accepted it as God's message and not some human thinking. And that really, I think, comes down to the whole acceptance of authority. Accept it as God's message and not some human thinking. Um, my experience is that uh, these days, people have become so entrenched in the whole issue of uh, human rights and personal rights and so forth. It's, it's my right, my right, all about me, that we end up with very opinionated thinking. Um, I've even had it uh, when I've, uh, and I think I've shared this with you before, when I've actually spoken to people about the teachings of the church and they say, oh no, that's your opinion. Um, just because it's a human being, sh being sharing it with you, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the human being thinking. We, we speak with some authority, at least I hope we do. And we speak uh, uh, to reassure people that, that is the right message. Um, it saddens me that, uh, that even as we go through these difficult times during COVID, that there are so many people who are so set on their own ways. They say, oh, no, that's my opinion. It's, it's my right to decide whether I'm going to have the vaccine or not. It's my right to decide this. It's my right to decide that. But they're not thinking about the consequences of their decision on other people. Because the reality is that whatever we decide, we're always going to have some impact on someone else through our actions, through our, our, our words, and so forth. And so let's always look at where the authority is coming from. And if somebody tells us something, to not sort of say, well, okay, it's my right to decide whether I agree with that or not, fair enough. But it's also your responsibility to ensure that what you're following is actually um, coming from the, the correct source. And so there's so much speculation and, and distrust and so forth in the world at the moment that you can see that people are, 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 are becoming self-opinionated. Particularly, I'm sad to say, the whole issue of vaccination. And I know that you've heard this on the news all the times. The people who aren't vaccinated are actually not making life any easier, either for themselves or for the rest of society. So I strongly encourage you, if you're sitting on the fence as far as the vaccination thing is concerned, We've got people uh, I heard of last Friday, two people in our parish who've, who've, got, vac who've got COVID and, and also heard of a death of somebody who, who has died uh, from COVID. I think we're all in that situation. And when you speak to the medical people, they say that they are not seeing people coming into their hospitals in critical conditions, those who've had vaccines. It's only the people who haven't been vaccinated. I think that speaks for itself. So let's have a wonderful day. Let's be positive um, and let's be proactive. Huh? God bless and keep safe. Bye-bye.